Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. For today's recipe, we're going to make steamed rice rolls. The secret ingredient is tapioca starch. So first we make the batter and put a cup of water in there. That's uh, eight tablespoons of rice flour. So this is the rice flour. This is a good brand that I like to use. Put in uh, eight tablespoons of wheat starch. So I like this brand here too. Seven. Eight. So just uh, make sure there's no lumps in there. You can use a whisk if you like. I just use the uh, fork all the time. So I got some of this uh, tapioca starch. Tapioca starch is a little more chewy. So it's going to give the uh, rice roll a little more chew. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of tapioca starch in there. So that will change the texture of the rice roll. So it's a personal preference. Some people like it more chewy, some people don't. So these are different options that you can use when you make the rice roll. So I'm just going to mix that in. Here are some of the different toppings you can use for the steamed rice rolls. Here we have corn. We have green onions chopped up. We have Chinese uh, sausage. We can use ground pork. So we have some barbecue pork from yesterday's dinner. And then we have some uh, beef brisket stew. So beef brisket stew is a popular topping right now in Huaiping, China. So when I went there recently, uh, several places uh, served this in the rice rolls. Previously, uh, nobody did. So. A good combination is uh, beef brisket stew with uh, corn and lettuce. Eggs are a pretty popular item to put in steamed rice rolls because we're using a small steamer here. Uh, you probably make about two or three steamed rice rolls using one egg, but in China they use one egg per order. So you get roughly uh, two, two or three rolls of steamed rice roll, you get one egg. So we make the smaller portion with our pan here. You get uh, maybe a third or half an egg per order. So first put a little bit of oil, like a peanut oil here. Put some uh, peanut oil in the pan. So make sure the uh, rice roll doesn't stick. So just rub that around. And then I'm gonna put some uh, rice solution in there. So for me, it's roughly uh, this ladle would work. You can put more if you like. So usually I use the same ladle because it's the uh, right size for this pan. And then I'm just going to put the ingredients. You can put anything you like. You can make it all vegetarian if you like. So I've got some uh, Chinese sausage. I've got some uh, barbecue pork here. And then uh, I'll put a little bit of corn in there. So just spread some corn in there and I've got some uh, green onions I'll put lots of green onions if you like and then I put a half an egg in there maybe a third of an egg so a power steamer you can usually put a whole egg in there but for home cooking I only put a third to half an egg and then uh, we're ready to steam this so I've got the uh, steamer going right now So make sure you have enough water in the bottom there. So it's going really good. So just put the rice roll in there. Make sure it's all even. So cover your rice roll and steam for two to three minutes. So I got the window there so I can see how, how it's cooking. So once you see the bubbles in the rice roll, 
it's uh, cooked. So let's check it right now. Looks pretty good. You see the uh, rice roll is cooked all the way through. So now you just roll the rice roll. So last step, you just put, I want to put a little bit of oil. I, I see them do this in Hoi Ping all the time. So put a little oil, got peanut oil in there. And then I got some soy sauce, light soy sauce. You can use the dark soy sauce too if you like. I like the light soy sauce, a little saltier. And just sprinkle some sesame seeds on it if you have it. So there you have it. Steam rice roll, Hoi Ping style. Enjoy. Thanks for checking out my video and be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can get the next new video and thanks to my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world and also I was awarded the top 40 China YouTube channels in the world and also uh, please subscribe just press the button